Well, hello there, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. We are here back on home. It is day three. In the last video, we just helped Blathers get all of the creatures for the museum, and we started working on collecting materials for the shop. We didn't get very far. That's okay. So we're gonna finish up the shop collecting stuff today, see what other kind of trouble we can get into. So let's get Let's get going on this. Now for today's news. Yay, the museum. Okay, so the muse museum will be closed today, which is okay. We'll just pile up anything that we find outside. We got some mail. Oh, my house is upgraded again, I think. We'll go ahead and get started on that third upgrade since I have the money for it. Might as well. What'd you get me? An automatic washer. Very nice. I wish I had one of those in my actual apartment. Apartments that don't have washers and dryers in them should be illegal, by the way. I would much rather... Oh, it's cute. It's blue. I would much rather have a washer and dryer than a dishwasher. I can hand wash my dishes just fine. I would rather have a washer and dryer. And then the amount of money that they charge for a washer and dryer on the property, absolutely ridiculous, especially since none of them work. Caught a snail. When the pandemic first started, I had one of those portable washers and dryers that you fill up with from like a hose and then the dryer just spins really fast. <laughs> So you can, it like wicks the water away, but it doesn't actually like heat dry your clothes. For when we had it, at the time that we did have it, which was like the first couple months of 2020, it was fine because it is exactly what we needed to avoid the laundromat and it cleaned our clothes. We put it in the bathtub so it could drain right there and it was fine and it worked. And then it broke and then I had to throw it in the dumpster. <laughs> After about six months, it broke. But then we were comfortable with going back to the laundromat and stuff, so. Ugh, Gulliver, you're so annoying. <laughs> but I want, I like the items that he offers. Yes, I'll get them. If you just stop talking. Did he just say my head was big? <laughs> I missed that. I like when the lazy villagers say, I've been thinking about your big old round head. That's really cute. It sounds like something I would say. Yep. Yeah. Big, round, beautiful head. <laughs> okay, we're looking for communicator parts. What kind of a phone does he have where he can just cram the parts back in together and it just works? It's not an iPhone. I know that for a fact. You look at an iPhone wrong and it quits working. Oh, yay, DIY recipe. I know on Konoha, I started getting repeat recipes pretty early on, which is incredibly frustrating. The wooden end table. I already know that one. Oh, the repeats are starting real early here. Oh. Dug up a fossil array. Ooh, um, we have a little pond. For some reason on my old islands, I always get rid of the ponds and then I get rid of really cool creatures like, you know, the turtles and frogs. I'm gonna try and keep my ponds so I can have a pet turtle. I think I'm gonna put a house over here. I like the idea of a house right here on the peninsula. It might not even be my house, but we'll see. My husband's home. Hello? You take some chocolate and some lobster and some eggs and some pie and then you mix it in your body and shit it all out. Okay, we're back. My husband just came home. I had to fill him in on my day. So, we are still looking for communicator parts and I see a little thing right here. I'm gonna try and be better about catching things because with Konoha, I just kind of let the seasons go without catching what I needed to catch. And that's how I wound up with weird gaps in my Critterpedia. So we're gonna try and avoid that. Rip it and rip it, baby! Caught a seahorse! I kind of like this shape for the pond. That's cute. I can make a little sitting fishing area. Catfish! I should probably be cutting wood from these trees, huh? Not today. Gotcha, bitch. A crawfish! I went to one of those restaurants uh, last week where they give you just like the bag of seafood and you kind of just tear it apart at your table. You wear a bib and gloves and just rip it apart. It was an experience for sure. The food was good. Um, I don't, I'm not the biggest fan of crawfish, but we had shrimp and crab. So I tore apart some shrimp and there were like potatoes and corn on the cob too in the bag with the seafood. It was pretty good. My best friend in the whole wide world loves crab legs. My pockets are full. Oh shit. What are my pockets full of? I forgot. <laughs> oh, <laughs> lots of crap. <laughs> uh, my best friend in the whole wide world, her favorite food is crab and she will tear apart a crab in like record time to where you're like, oh my God. Like it's how I would think she's she would like dismember a corpse with that efficiency. I was like, you're insane. Love her. Shout out to Ashton. Crawfish. Do you call them crawfish or crayfish or crawdads? Cedrian. Do you call crawfish crawfish, crawdads or crayfish? I call them cockroaches because they fucking gross. Okay, but for real. I do not call them anything. <laughs> 
<laughs> I do not address them, good man. My dad calls them mud bugs. And that is why I also do not address them. They are beneath me. <laughs> if you call them crayfish, you're fucking crazy. Oh my god. <laughs> anyway, I call them crawfish from where I'm from. It's either crawfish or crawdads where I'm oh, from. It's crawdads. I'm from the southern Midwest, so it's both. Gross. Oh, the shellfish pache. Also on the same trip that I went to the crawfish boil, I guess. It wasn't really, it was a restaurant. I went to a box lunch to try and get the, the strawberry frog squishmallow and I didn't find it. But they had like the, f I think either the five or the eight inch squish squishmallows for like $20. And I was like, oh, hell no. Those are so expensive. Like, why are they $5 at five below, but $20 at box lunch? It's not like box lunch is hurting for money. And some of them were cute. I think they had like a tie-dye axolotl, but I didn't get it. I did get the axolotl from Walgreens that has uh, a floaty and sunglasses. I did get that one. It's really cute. I didn't get any squishmallows on that journey to the box lunch. I had also just gotten a whole bunch of squish squishmallows from... Walgreens. One of the Walgreens near my apartment is like never has really good squishmallows and then I went to a different one that I'd never been to before and they were packed with really cool squishmallows so I bought a bunch. I got some mystery boys, I got my axolotl, I got the monarch butterfly. I don't know their names but in the mystery capsules I got the little shrimp. Oh my god, maybe I'll give a squish tour one day. I don't have that many. I have a lot but I don't have a ton. I just watched Froggy Cross sings video she has over 300 and i was like absolutely not like do you and i love that for her but i just don't have the money or the space i live in a small apartment we do not have the space for 300 squishmallows we barely have the space for my like what 50 and i crochet plushies so we've got plushies all over the place oh my axe broke my ass broke let's sell some stuff empty these pockets get a new axe i think i'm just gonna buy an axe i'm not gonna craft it mm, yeah no i will oh he has to talk to me I like that you can hear the brain hitting the tent. It tickles my brain in a good way. We'll buy the inflatable sofa that looks like something it shouldn't look like. We'll buy the generator too. And then we'll buy an axe. We'll go ahead and repay our loan. Uh, we'll pay from pockets first. And then we'll pay from the savings. Let's see what upgrades we can get right now. Let's get the pretty good tools recipe. Let me get some money back into my pockets because I want to see what's available at Nook Shopping. Should have just left the money in my pockets and not even used it, but whatever. <gasps> A rain hat and rain boots. Cute. And we'll go ahead and do KK Country. Mm, the wedding stuff is here again i also have all the sanrio characters so i will once we get harvest island i'll scan them in and we can get that their furniture um actually you know what let me just buy some more stuff so i can get the app on my phone plus i can always sell it right back once i have the three stars i can put it out on the so we'll get an air circulator we'll get a miss flamingo and we'll get some pipes no nope, can't buy another one <laughs> the pipe before we had access to our storage with the storage sheds the pipe was incredible and i still really do like it it was very helpful when i was cleaning out my other island that i could just plop one down right in front of the shop and then the other one down wherever I was and just kind of fast travel. That was really nice. Let's go ahead and break these rocks and get some iron. Nice. Let me catch that. Gotcha, bitch. Let's put our inflatable sofa back here for no reason. Like, why does it look like that? Like, they had to know. Look at that. What? <laughs> There's no way. I've never used a generator before. I don't know how they work. I should probably know how they work. I live in Florida. And it's hurricane season. We're not catching stuff right now. We're getting wood. Wood and iron to get the shop. That is what we're doing. That is the goal. Goal of the episode. I hear a balloon. Where are you? There you are. There's actually two goals this episode. The other one is to get Gulliver's parts. Ooh, an ironing set. I'm gonna go right here. Yay. Nice. Nice. This boy's at the river mouth. He might be something special. He's not. Shit. Let's finish looking for these communicator parts, huh? Get him out of our hair. Damn it. All right. There's another one. I'm so sorry, Mac. Okay. We got all five. I will put down the centipede. All right. Meow. Put those down. We'll run back over here to our boy. He has so much dialogue. Okay. But I do like his items. Let's go back over here and get the rest of the wood that we need. Ooh, I'll get this rock too. Ooh, money rock. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Ooh, there's another present. 10,000 more bells. Nice. Uh, my cat just jumped on my desk without my permission. It's a good thing he's cute. Are you playing modded Valheim? No. Why are you going so fast? This is creative mode. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were going to say, because it's modded. <laughs> Shithead. <laughs> Can you shut the fuck up? 
it. Dang, I already chopped a tree a hundred times. Damn. Um, so I have enough regular wood and hardwood. I still need some softwood and I need iron. Don't get married. They're gross. Don't marry a male presenting person. They're stinky. <laughs> They're also dramatic. If you want to check out my husband's YouTube channel, it's Lord Cedrian. We haven't uploaded it there in a while, but two there's years. two... Really? Yeah. Damn. I'm on that channel if you want to watch me be a fool playing Minecraft. It looks like the rain's going to clear up. A baseball uniform. I'm going to put it on. <gasps> Cute. I wish it was red. My favorite baseball team is the Cardinals. Anyway, it's cute. I'll wear it. Um, Let me see what I need to craft the nicer axe. I need iron. I don't want to do that. Let me go ahead and craft a flimsy axe again. No, I don't want to talk to you again. Jeez. Okay, let's upgrade the house again. Yep. Let's do it. So let's craft an axe. I'll craft a stone axe because I don't want to cut down my trees, but I don't want my axe to break so quickly again. So we'll do that. And then I'll craft the fish bait too, just to get the slots out of my inventory. Ooh, let's stretch really quick. Get those tickets. Aww. Oh, Gulliver's here. Where are the twins? They're not going to stretch with us. That's stupid. <laughs> Shit. Ha ha, gotcha. Okay, we have all the wood that we need. Let me go find my other rocks and I'll get some iron out of those. And then we'll probably have to go to a Nook Miles Island to get the rest of the iron. Let me get these fossils right here. Cool, I only got one iron from that rock. Thanks game, you know I need iron. Okay, so I'm gonna buy a couple shovels and we're gonna go to Nook Miles Island. Mm, I'll sell some stuff too. Let's see if I can donate some of the building materials. Yes, take it. Ooh, I got stuff. Let me go get the iron. <gasps> I like the wall. Okay, I've also changed my clothes. So let's use that Nook Miles ticket that's at the airport. Every time I pick the option, I wanna fly, I always sing that song. It's like, I just wanna fly. And then it gets stuck in my head. I'm excited to do villager hunts for this channel. It'll be fun. Like I said, I'm not gonna villager hunt for the first couple villagers that'll autofill onto the island, but we will eventually, I'm excited. I think the last villager hunt I did, I kept track of not only how many tickets I used, but how many times I saw a certain villager. But I deleted the spreadsheet, so I don't, I can't tell you. <gasps> Amelia! That's Amelia, right? No, that's, who is that? Cecilia? They have similar names. Hey girl, Cecil Celia, not Cecilia. Cool, that means she'll be on my island. <laughs> She's really cute, I like her. I'm, I'm glad, I'm excited to have her when I see her. And then she auto fills. We're kissing, happy pride month. We might have to go to another island if there's not another rock here. Looks like we're gonna have to go to another island. Let's go. I've retrieved another ticket, let's go. I just wanna fly. Let's see if there's anybody here we can say hi to. Oh, who is that? They're cute. Who is this? Gabby. I guess she's gonna be my peppy villager. She's cute. I've never had her before. I like her. Aw, Gabby. I didn't know you could invite them when you didn't even have a lot. So I'm, I'm just gonna leave that as that was and maybe gabby will be my peppy maybe not we'll see good thing i brought two shovels Ooh, a gold nugget okay i think that's all the iron that we need mm. what diy recipe did i come up with with my genius brain oh the king top mask cool not so genius because i'll fall down let's see if there's a bottle washed up here and then we can go home home to home <laughs> got a bottle over there gabby no okay Let's get out of here. All right, so let's donate our iron. Yay. Oh yeah, I get to place it. All right, so we're gonna put the shop over here on this beach just so it's out of the way and I can move stuff pretty easily once I get able to move stuff. Shit, shit, or not. I don't think I can put it over here. Let's put it right here. Shit, I want it flush against the cliff or the ledge. There we go, perfect. All right, cool. Well, we've got our shop laid down and then we'll we'll get our campsite pretty soon. So I think I'm gonna call it there. So thanks so much for watching and continuing to watch. If you like the video, make sure you like it, subscribe, comment what you wanna see and stay tuned. We'll get going on this island. We're almost done with this tutorial section and then hopefully soon Isabella will be here and then we can 
build and get out of my shot and we can start building and villager hunting and all that fun stuff so stay tuned thanks for watching and i'll see you later goodbye